So this is a cube, so I'm going to label all the sides x. So that's x, that's x, and that's x. They're all the same. I'm going to slice into this thing. I'm going to draw a diagonal down this space and that face, and then I've got this plane in the middle of my figure. And I'll draw again here that's just QPRS through the middle. So it's Q, P, R, and S through the middle. And you've got T in the middle of that. And so I can start to label this stuff. I know if this is X, and this is X, then this must be X root 2. It's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. You can do Pythagorean theorem also. Today. Rs is S long, so um, switch probably switch those. That's R, that's S, and Rs is X long. And my angle is there. So now everything in this cube is nice and symmetric, so we're going to chop everything in half. So when we do that, I'll chop the angle in half, that gets me that theta over 2, which is what I want. This guy's chopped in half, that gives me x over 2. And this height is chopped in half, that gives me x root 2 over 2. So now, if I want the tangent of that, it's just opposite over hypotenuse. So the tangent of theta over 2 is just the opposite, x over 2, over the hypotenuse, no, no, opposite over adjacent, my bad, tangents opposite over adjacent, just testing you, this is x root 2 over 2, and just cleaning this thing up, if we're dividing by fractions, I'm multiplying by the reciprocal, so I'm going to flip and multiply, 2 over x root 2, the x's will cancel, the 2's will cancel, we get 1 over root 2, uh, rationalizing that, multiply top and bottom by root 2, and I get root 2 over 2, just like they wanted me to prove. And that is that.